So a few weeks ago, I made a video about a mystery bag of phones that I paid £75 for that came with loads of different phones, loads of iPhones, loads of Android phones. I made a video repairing one of them. I had a great time. Everybody really enjoyed it. So I went back to the charity shop and I bought some more. This bag cost me £40. Let's check out what's inside it. So I'm going to reach in and pull out a mystery item. Let's see what we've got. A white plastic belt holder. That's for an iPod. Maybe that gives us a slight indication as to what could be next. A leather pouch, which says Bose on it. This is very exciting. There's nothing inside it. Boom, an iPod touch. Okay, I have actually got the receipt in here, so I'll show you that as well. Um, but this right here is an iPod touch. Does it have any power in it? Let's turn it on and see. Got a big scratch on the screen. Right, that one uh, needs some battery. Let's go ahead and plug it in and charge it up and see what it says. Quick update on the iPod, I've had it on charge and it does work, which is absolutely fantastic. Screen works and it's in fairly good condition, but unfortunately it's locked. And the chances of finding that password is gonna be impossible. And it's gonna be iCloud locked anyway, so. Okay, let's reach back into the bag and see what we get. <gasps> An absolute icon, the Nokia 3310. What a beautiful phone. There's some remnants of a phone number on the back there and it also says uh, Jers, which is uh, presumably meant to say Jersey, which is the island that I live on. Um, let's have a look and see what the state of the battery is. Looks to be relatively okay. Uh, there's no SIM card in it. Let's see if it has any power. it doesn't appear to have any power. I'll go ahead and chuck it on charge and have a look, but it seems to be in really good condition. And I know for a fact that these phones actually still work as mobile phones in today's world. So that would be goddamn cool. Okay, let's reach back into the bag and see what we've got. Ah, look at this little beautiful thing. That is tiny. What is that? Is this Sony Ericsson? Damn, that is a beautiful little phone. It's got a small little lanyard on the top of it, which I find quite funny. Let's see, ah, we're definitely not gonna have a charger for that. That is upsetting. What battery is it? Mm, it's a proprietary one as well. Ah, well, that's slightly unfortunate. I don't think we're gonna have any chance trying to get this one going today, but it looks to be in fairly good condition and I would be very surprised if it didn't work. It's probably just obsolete and so they donated it to charity, but that is such a cute little phone. It was very uh, it was very weird the way that the world of phones worked. Everything wanted to get smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, the Nokia 3310 was a predecessor to a rather large phone or a series of large phones from Nokia. So it went smaller, 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 and now look at our phones. They're absolutely enormous. I mean, you could fit five of them in the size of this iPhone. Um, but yeah, there we have it, the Sony Ericsson. We're gonna have to just do a follow-up video on that one. Um, Let's see what else we've got in here. Ah, awesome. Okay, the iPod, six gigabytes. Now, my mom actually had this iPod back in the day, which is kind of cool to see it again. It's quite a nostalgic one for me. But yeah, that is quite an iconic thing. Obviously, the iPod was um, Apple's sort of answer to the Walkman, which was Sony's um, device. And this was really the start of MP3s. Apple never made a uh, physical media um, portable like portable music player. <laughs> God, I'm really not that well read on music stuff, but I know that Sony obviously made the Walkman um, and then Apple came in with the iPod shortly after that. Oh my goodness me, there's so much stuff in there. Is there any games? Extras? Games? Oh my goodness me, we have this one. Arkanoid on the iPod, it works. It works perfectly. That is beautiful. What a trip down memory lane. Let's see what music this person has on here. Uh, oh, there's notes. I wonder if there's any notes. No, there's no notes. Or it's frozen. Oh, no battery power. Wait, it's got loads of battery. I'm so confused. The battery must be dying on it because like it says no battery power, but it definitely has battery. So there we go, it just died. Yeah, it looks like the battery on this is probably pretty tired. I wouldn't even know where to begin taking this thing apart, but iPod. Okay, let's see. There's a big box here. Um, Sony Xperia. Uh, let's see. It doesn't feel like there's anything in here. Uh, no, there's definitely not. There's some headphones. That's kind of nice. 
There's a SIM card thing, but that is it. There's nothing else in here. I don't think, maybe we do have the phone for this. Let's see what else we've got. Let's pull out one of the big ones. What is that one? Is that the phone for this? That looks like it's the phone for this. There we have it, <laughs> the phone. Okay, let's see, does this, does this phone work though? It's quite beautiful, it's got a sticker on the back still. It's sort of made of metal. Concerningly, there is sort of, is that a bulge in the middle or is that the design? I would, I would say that is a bulge in the middle. And it's got 33, 32% battery. But why is, oh, it's saying no SIM card. Okay, well, I mean, that seems to work. That seems to work absolutely fine. But I mean, the, the, the whole battery thing is kind of concerning. And again, this one doesn't look like there's an easy way in to fix that issue. Am I going mental? No, there's definitely some sort of a crease in there. There's another big one in here as well. This is another Sony Xperia. This one seems to be having a similar problem here as well. The back is sort of sticking up and you can press it in, which is really horrible. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see that there, but yeah, these are both USB-C. Um, again, I'm not sure how you'd go about turning this, uh, sorry, opening this one up. This one works as well. Everything works absolutely fine. It's connected to a local free Wi-Fi in the area, but yeah, it's uh, it looks absolutely fine. I really don't know anything about these phones. I don't really have any interest in them, but they seem to work fine. So, I mean, can anyone tell me if those are any good? Cool, here we go. Let's see, what else have we got? <gasps> yes, now this is right up my street. This is actually a phone that I care about. It works. <laughs> it's got juice in it. That is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I mean, these ones just a little bit more nostalgic for me. I have a bit more interest in this than this. I'm sure most of you can understand why, but this was like my first phone, the iPhone 4. So this is a 32 gigabyte and it doesn't say iPhone 4S on it anywhere. I'm fairly certain it's just an iPhone 4, but yeah, this one works perfectly. Is there any photos? No, there's no photos. Camera works absolutely fine. Does the front facing camera work? Yes, it does. This one is a good one. Now it feels like there's another iPhone 4 in here as well. Here is another iPhone 4. Is that, that is exactly the same, isn't it? Same model number two. So I'm fairly certain this one's not a 4S either. This one doesn't work though. Let's see, does it turn on? No. Hmm. Well, there is a cable. So that is for this, happy days. Right, let me plug this one in and see if this one can get some juice. Ooh, that doesn't feel like it's going in at all. Maybe we could try and clear out this uh, battery port. Uh, look at some of the stuff coming out of here. That is gross. Oh my. Uh. That, is a, that is a living thing. Look, all of this has come out of this charging port. Let's take some isopropyl alcohol and put that on the end of the toothbrush. And then we're gonna give the inside of this charging port a really, really good clean out and hopefully get some charge. That now goes all the way in and doesn't come out. Let's plug it in. There's nothing happening to this phone right now. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on charge, but that was also the last phone in the bag, so yeah, I mean the, oh no, hang on, there's one last thing in here. A very small iPod. Yeah, I'm really gutted about that phone. That hopefully will, we can get that working. Maybe we can open it up in a second and see if it's like corroded inside from water damage. But yeah, I mean the last thing to look at is this very small iPod, which has some battery in it. I don't think this one can get locked either to iCloud. So hopefully this one works pretty fine. I think this is the iPod Nano. I think it might be like one of the last ones, like the seventh generation or something. And it was really weird because it was a design that was sort of had never been seen before, like with the circular um, applications and what whatnot. So yeah, I mean, a beautiful little iPod seems to be in fairly good condition. And that is pretty much gonna wrap up this haul of stuff. To summarize then, we've got five things here that work absolutely fine. We've got this iPod, we've got this iPhone, we've got this iPod, we've got this phone, and we've got this phone. They all work fine, they are old. So these three, and probably this one as well, are gonna need battery replacements. These two are probably write-offs in that sense. I don't think you're ever gonna be able to get a battery replacement in that. I'm sure there's a way to do it um, to this one. Look, this one's actually saying connect to power as well. So that's probably not a good indication that this one's gonna last very long either. Um, and then this one 
Seems to have quite a lot of battery for, for how old it is. So I'd say this one's probably fine. Uh, now we've also got, besides the horrendous pile of gunk from the charging port, we've also got this small little Sony Ericsson and we've got this Nokia. So what I'm gonna do is order some charges for these and see if we can get them to work. Cause I think these are really, really cool. And these are the sorts of things I think in the future will become quite a lot more desirable than stuff like that. So I'm gonna hang on to these and see if I can get them to work. Probably gonna give these to my brother because he enjoys having to mess around with phones. Is it the back that comes off first or the front? I can't actually remember. I have a feeling it might be the back actually. Yeah, it's the back, okay. Um, I mean, I don't see any oxidation or anything in there. I mean, it's a little bit gross, but I don't actually see any, any problems inside of that. I don't see any rust or, any, or anything like that at all actually. So maybe this one, is just a damaged charging port and maybe just could do with a battery replacement. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on what this one could be. Is it worth fixing? Is it worth having a go and fixing? But yeah, I mean, there we go. That's gonna wrap up this video. I really hope you have all enjoyed. I've had a lot of fun. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.